Hello EA instructors, this is Kyle with McGraw-Hill and in this short video we're going to discuss how you can utilize Anatomy and Physiology Revealed as an in-class resource for your MED 110 and MED 115 courses. So first you'll log in to connect with your zoned account. All right, and then you'll scroll down to your MED 110 and 115 course. When we land inside of this connect page, you'll scroll down to the Anatomy and Physiology Revealed Cadaver Dissection Tool, and you'll click Launch APR. And when the program loads, you'll want to click on My Course Content. And in the list, you'll see that we've created lessons that map to your MED 110 course, labeled MED 110 Lesson 1 through 9. We've also created lessons that map to your MED 115 course, so Lessons 1 through 9 for those as well. So we'll select a lesson. All right, and next up you'll have to select a module. So when we click the module list, you'll see that we've got everything from body orientation to the reproductive organs. I'm going to click on body orientation. And everything that's available for this module that applies to lesson one will appear here. So you'll see that I have many options for dissection. We'll click on an option here. You'll see that we get the spelling. We can get the pronunciation. All right, sometimes you'll have options for various views. You can look at the topic. Get a little information about the location, description, and then some comments. And then obviously we can come down to the dissection area and select various regions to get new information. And you'll see that as I click on the topics here, check marks appear. So let's say that we covered everything that we need to for this first piece. I can go back to my course content and let's select a different lesson. I'm going to select lesson 8. And when I come down to select the module, if I click body orientation, nothing appears. And that's because nothing from this entire module applies to lesson 8. So it's just a surefire way to make sure that you're staying on point with what you're supposed to cover for this particular lesson. So I'll scroll down to the nervous system because I know that that's a heavy part of what's in lesson 8. Okay, and you'll see that for this particular lesson, I've not only got the dissection pieces, but I've also got some animations, histology, and imaging. So depending upon what you're covering in each of the lessons, there's going to be varying degrees of content. So once again, we can come in and go into the dissection area. You'll see that this one actually has a couple of different layers that we can choose from. And you can always use the shifter to fade between layers. All right. We also had some animations. So if I click on the animations link, we can take a look at one of those videos. And I just muted this. You can always have the text on or turn it off if you don't want it to be a distraction. Next up we've got the Histology. All right, so you can take a look under the microscope at all these various topics. And then finally, if there are images that apply, then you can click on imaging, and those will be located right here. All right, so the last thing that we want to do, I'm going to click on the My Course content once again. After we're done, Always make it a habit for your last step to be to click clear. This will ensure that other instructors in your zone start with a clean slate 
and they won't have any of the topics checked off before they go in. Um, you can always check the clear box as soon as you come into the program. That's a good best practice to use as well. When you're finished though, you can just close down and sign out of the course. So that's the process that you will be utilizing in order to incorporate anatomy and physiology revealed in your MED 110 and 115 courses. I hope that you found this video helpful.